everybody, Bob Sekoler here in the car heading to write a contract uh, for clients, but also on the phone, one of our clients, Adam, who we've just received a second offer on his house. Adam, are you there? Yes, I am. How are you doing, Bob? All right, Adam, speak up also, and that you're hearing also our radar detector going off because we're moving along. Well, we're not doing too fast. We're not going to get a ticket, that's for sure. But anyway, back to, to Adam. We received a, um, an offer on Adam's house about two, what was it, two days ago? Yes. Two days ago. And then we received another one on his house last night. Interesting, we've had your house listed how many months? Five or so months? Uh, five or six, yeah, since May. Since May. All right, so it's a little more than six months, actually. And it has been a very slow market. But Adam did some improvements to his house, put a new kitchen in. And on top of the kitchen, uh, the market now is starting to pick up, we're seeing, and we're taping this on January, what is it, the 11th, uh, 2009. Yep. So we're seeing the market pick up, and Adam, getting to, you, you, you're pretty shocked. You got two offers in a matter of a couple of days, I take it. It's crazy. You had eight shillings in seven days. So, see, that's a good thing, and that we love to hear that. One, it means our marketing's getting out there. Two, it means that... Buyers are back in the market, and it's the signs of a recovery, and we love that. But, Adam, you had a couple of questions for me based on this second contract. What were those questions? Well, it was just two little things. Uh, one that doesn't make a big difference, but I was just interested in. Uh, the contract includes up to $3,000 in covering their closing costs, and right. I was wondering if that was that I should that I'm definitely paying $3,000 or just up to their actual $3,000. Right. Well, a great question. And instantly, I should tell you that prior to starting this videotape, I did get Adam's approval to be able to discuss this over this video. I don't want you to think I'm surprising him or he doesn't know that we're taping. Correct, Adam? Yes, yes. Right. right. So, the answer is, up to $3,000, these days, closing attorneys have the ability to add items that could be maybe normally not considered a standard closing cost, but they could add that into the total closing costs for the seller to pay, and that way they can bring it up to exactly $3,000. So what we tell our clients, and as I'm telling Adam, if you've got a contract that says up to $3,000 in closing costs that you'll pay, then you should know that you'll be paying that $3,000. Don't expect anything less than paying that $3,000. Does that sound good? Yeah, that, that works completely. All right, your next question. The other was, uh, the other offer that we got two days ago, we we're still in the time frame of waiting for their counter counter offer, and I was wondering if we have to wait until we get that back in, or if we can go ahead and accept this one now. So, okay, so the bottom line is we told the second agent that there was a another offer that we were negotiating, and then I called the first agent and let them know in a voicemail that there was an offer that had come in a second offer and that we were going to wait till this afternoon to accept or reject both offers but if they wanted to make an updated offer that would be available by phone throughout the day and that's how we handled it and we'll wait till this afternoon and then we'll submit your decision okay that'll work all right i'm going to say goodbye on the video here and hang on adam and that's basically right. it for what we're doing with adam and a happy very happy seller and we're thrilled for him. I'm Bob Sekoler, the Midley Sekoler team, REMAX Properties East.